Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw the phaser diagram of a scaring bridge. This is the circuit of a scaring bridge. While drawing the phaser diagram, we will consider each arm of the bridge separately as a standalone circuit. To start with, let's first take the arm AB. In this arm AB, we can see that we have a capacitor and a resistor in series. Current I1 is flowing through the capacitor and the resistor and the voltage in AB is E1. So we'll take I1 as a reference. Since I1 is the same current that is flowing through the resistor and the capacitor. Uh, we can see that the voltage drop in the resistor will be I1 into R1 and since we know that in a purely resistive circuit, the voltage is always in phase with the current. Therefore, I1 into R1, that is voltage drop in the resistor, will be along the x-axis. The voltage drop in the capacitor will lag the current by 90 degree. So, the voltage will be along the y-axis in the opposite direction. Now the vector sum of the voltage in the resistor and the capacitor will give us the total voltage in the arm AB. So from the phase diagram we can draw now E1 which will be in between I1 R1 and I1 by omega C1. Now we will consider the second arm that is BC. In this arm we have a voltage E3 and the same current I1 is flowing through the resistor R3. The current is same because we are considering the balance condition. So now voltage drop in this arm BC will be I1 into R3 and which will again be in phase with the current I1. So we have E3 equal to I1 into R3 along the x-axis. Now, if you recall the circuit diagram, it's given that E1 plus E3 will be equal to E, where E is the supply voltage. If we complete the parallelogram now, and the resultant of this two vectors will give us the total supply current E. This is E. Now, I've written here that E3 is equal to E4. Now what is E4? E4 is the voltage in the arm DC. We can see that in this arm DC, the capacitor and the resistor are in parallel with each other. And the total current in the arm DC is I2. So I2 will be IC plus IR. What is IC and IR? IC is the current in the, through the capacitor and IR is the current in the resistor. So this voltage in both the capacitor and resistor will be same that will be E4 so we can write it here that E4 is equal to IR into R4 equal to IC by omega C4 now since E4 is along the x-axis the current in the resistor R4 will also be along the x-axis so we can draw here IR and the current IC will lead this voltage by an angle 90 degree so it will be along the y Exist. Now the vector sum of IC and IR will give us the total current in that arm that is DC I2. So we have here I2. Now we almost have all the currents and voltage in this phaser. The only one left is the E2. What is E2? E2 is the voltage drop in uh, arm AD. Now we can see in the figure that the current I2 is flowing through the capacitor C2 and the voltage is E2. But we know that in the balance bridge E1 will be equal to E2 and from the diagram or from the circuit we can see that I2 lets the voltage E2 by 90 degree. So since I1 will be equal to I2 we can write E1 or since E1 will be equal to E2 we can write E1 is equal to E2 in the phaser diagram and we can see from the phaser diagram that I2 leads the voltage E2 by 90 degree. So this is the complete phaser diagram for a scary bridge. If you have any comment or any doubt, you can write it on the comment section. Please like and share the video. 
and thank you for watching